everybody, Trojans for Life here, and welcome to Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese Rebooted. So, if you don't know what Chuck E. Cheese is, or Charles Entertainment Cheese, it's pretty much a pizza restaurant uh, in the United States, and this is a horror game uh, based off of... Based off of... It's pretty much Five Nights at Freddy's mixed with Chuck E. Cheese. That's all I'm trying to say. And so, I want to try this uh, game out because... The original came out so many years ago in like 2015 or 2014 and this is a rebooted version of uh, the game and it looked really cool and I wanted to try it so uh, let's get into the video. Uh, before the video uh, starts guys though real quick I wanted to uh, just address something real quick where I've been. Again as usual like I always say I've been busy with life, uh, college, work, running and it's been very busy to uh, balance those three things on top of uh, this channel. And on top of that, I actually uh, have been working on a second channel. Uh, and that second channel is called Sean Williams. Uh, and I have a link in the description where you can click uh, to that channel to go see it. Uh, that channel is pretty much a portfolio of projects that I have worked on in the past, uh, short skits, and just other things that I enjoy doing with uh, editing and film. And so you can go check out that channel, go sub, go support that one if you'd like. You can also support this one. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've been very busy trying to balance all those things and this, so I'm finally getting back into uh, doing some games for my uh, Trojans for Life channel. And so uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about, uh, Pop Goes the Machinist, which I talked about, and Fortnite. So I know I already mentioned that I was going to do uh, Fortnite as a possible video, and I also was going to finish Pop Goes the Machinist. I know those are promises that I couldn't get to and I couldn't make, but I'd like to make it up to you guys, and pretty much I will be playing those games in the future. Uh, Fortnite will be a little bit farther down the line, uh, and that video is pretty much just going to be um, me pretty much playing with a group of friends, and that's a little bit farther down the line, but after I try today's video, uh, I'm gonna go start working on Pop Goes the Machinist and finishing that game up. Uh, so yeah, uh, but without further ado, uh, enjoy the uh, today's video. Bye guys. All right, let's get right into it, guys. As you can see, we got Chuck E. Cheese right there on the screen. Looks a little creepy, not gonna lie. Uh, so let's begin. I'm ready. Hey Fred, I need someone to take my shift this week because of some family issues. Would you be up for the task? Give me a call if you're interested. Thanks, Sue. Cool. So I guess we're playing as Fred. From Scooby-Doo. I think Coolsville sucks. Oh wow, oh my. Hover here to turn around. Oh, what? Hello? Hey, Fred. Hi. I see you're working overtime. Look at you. Oh, this you is... make some extra cash. I'm gonna... I'll shut up. Anyway, management is requiring me to leave you messages every night to help you out with your shifts. We normally don't have anyone looking over this place during the night, but since we're shut down for innovations, there has been some concern break-ins and vandalism and that kind of thing. So we needed someone, you in this case, to look over the place and make sure everything, especially Chucky and his friends, is in check. Uh, first things first. I'm assuming management left you with a camera system. If you turn the monitor on, you'll be able to flip through the channels for the cameras that are placed throughout the building. It's Whoa. not much, but it's at least something to look at while you're bored. And to watch for anything out of the ordinary, of course. They aren't top-notch, so don't be surprised if things are a little... finicky. <clears throat> also, behind you should be a security gate. Now, there were some issues in the past that basically forced us to put in that gate. It's a little broken, however. Instead of you just turning the handle and it keeping itself shut, you have to keep it closed by holding down the handle. I know it's a bit annoying. In the case of an emergency, you're gonna need that gate. Just don't play around with it too much. You don't want it jamming on you. 
All right, uh, I think this should be it. Oh wait, yeah, um, I, I know this wasn't really in the job description, but whenever you get the chance, could you please head down to storage and pick up some things that need to be restocked? Management should have put a list down there. I'm sure you'll see it. Should be quick and easy to do at the end of your shift. And don't worry, it'll probably be counted in your paycheck. Alright, that should be everything for now. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and uh, have a good night. Wow, okay. This is, in all honesty, this is really cool. I've actually been to a Chuck E. Cheese before, so this is interesting. Although this is based off, like, the, um... This is based off the original Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater, where, like, they... All the, the characters were, like, on these little stage sets and whatnot. But this, this, this is really cool. In all honesty, it's really cool. Oh, my gosh, that scared me. Okay, well, Chucky's gone. Bruh. Oh, there he is. He's crawling around. You know, you got uh, the dog, Jasper Jowls, you got Pasquale, you got Chuck E. Cheese, you got Mr. Munch, you got Helen Henny. In all honesty, this is scary. I would never work a job like this. Too, it's too much. Oh! He was right there. Okay, oh my gosh, that was the creepiest laugh. I didn't expect that. Oh, look at him! Dude, I would hate to have to work at a place like this if, like... Oh, God. It's so creepy. Like, it, to know that they're physically, like, on the floor crawling, that's just too much for me. That's the other thing, like, there's no map. Too creepy. At least there's no power meter. That's that's a good sign. At least I don't have a power meter. In all honesty, I, like, this, this, this brings me back to, like, when I went to, as a kid. As a kid? Okay, I'm closing it, I'm closing it. Please don't break in. I'm afraid every time I close this that, like, he's crawling under in the dark. But, oh. <sighs> okay. Woo. We did it. Oh, I, I completely forgot. We gotta collect all the items. Uh, space to turn around. I don't know what that... I did see. Gosh. This is just too scary.
console or even be. Oh, let's go. Oh, two hours off the next shift? Yeah, let's go. Okay. That was kind of scary. Whew. All right, second night. Oh, we got this. I'm going to let the phone guy talk. Hey again, Fred. Uh, I see your first night went well. And if it didn't, you obviously wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you know, you would have quit or something like that. Uh, so as you probably already know, this shift is a piece of cake. There and is. hopefully nothing is causing you trouble during the night. Nope. Just keep an eye on the gate and keep an eye on the cameras. Oh, yeah, the cameras. Uh, before we shut down, we're having some infestation What is that? Uh, That's a costume, it just appeared on the screen. There's gotta be a human in there. The building. Employees have complained about things being knocked over and stuff just being out of place. Gosh, that's so creepy. But we have reason to believe it might be staying in that back room, uh, which is... Uh, channel 4? Yeah, that back room hasn't been cleaned up for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye over there and make sure nothing bad happens. Holy cow. Also, uh, so the technicians yesterday reported a problem with the animatronic. Uh, don't worry, it's hardly anything. There's just been a problem where they'll try to perform when they shouldn't. And I think this issue has been noted for Jasper and some other one. So in case there's ever an issue where they start moving around or they're maybe uh, out of place, uh, we've given you something on the desk that we like to call the stage call. Uh, basically what this does is it resets any misbehaving character and makes them go back to their idle state. Uh, hopefully you'll never have to use it, uh, but... Uh, oh, it's right there. Yeah. That should be all. But just keep an eye on those cameras and use the gate whenever you need it. Oh, and again, make sure to restock items again oh, after you Gosh. Alright. Good night. <sighs> okay, so it looks like uh we have to keep an eye on this suit. Um and We also have to keep an eye on Jasper. Apparently stage call brings Jasper back. Hi there. Oh, gosh. Dude, that is just so creepy, beyond belief. It may not seem like it, but like when you're when you're in a game, like feet from that thing just doesn't feel real. Oh great, Jasper's out too. Oh, there he is. He's in there. He's hiding. I gotta keep an eye on this thing, though. Oh. Okay. That wasn't super bad. Oh. Teapot. Curse. Oh, look at that! What am I supposed to... Got you. No, I haven't. Oh, look at him! Got you. Yeah, it's not happening. Got it. Let's go. Two hours off the next shift. All right, guys. I guess I'd like to try night three just once to see how it is, and then we're going to end today's video. Holy cow. Hello? Uh, hey again. 
So now you've been here for two whole nights. Soon to be three. This is easy stuff, aside from uh, dealing with the robots. I uh, I hope you never had to use the stage call or anything. No. Nope. If you did, I'm honestly surprised you came back at all. But uh, uh, I guess now you know how they behave when they uh, glitch out. I just really emphasize the use of the camera system. Lord knows what happens to them when they leave their stage. One of the technicians this morning literally had to bolt Chucky back in place. <sighs> just... just make sure to keep a close eye on them. As they leave, make sure you know exactly where they are. I know that this is all... incredibly concerning. I'm not even sure I would do oh. this if I was here. Why are on the Especially during the Holy night. Holy cow! Still, I'm glad you've been sticking with it. Just, uh, keep up what you've been doing, and make sure to go back down to the basement. Have oh a good night. Oh my, holy cow. Well, I think we're gonna leave this off for the next video, so whoever we get scared by, that's gonna be the first one we die by, so. But anyway, guys, this has been Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese Part 1. Let's see, who's, who's coming after me? Who's coming after me? Which one of you, huh? What? I'm already. I'm. I've got. I... What the heck? This is so creepy already. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! Holy cow, okay. <sighs> wow. That was creepy. Dang. Who knew Chuck E. G's mascots could be scary, not gonna lie. That's going to be Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese Part 1. Uh, if you guys would like to see a Part 2, uh, hit the like button or smash it. Whatever you want to do, hit that like button. If we get over so many likes, then uh, yeah, I'll do a Part 2. Otherwise, we'll go right into Pop Goes the Machinist. But anyway, I appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah. Bye, everybody.